A split has emerged over the leadership of Boko Haram. The Nigerian militant group is linked to Daesh and an announcement in a Daesh magazine on Wednesday said the leader, seen here, has been replaced by Abu Ma Musab al banawi But now the disputed group leader, Abu Bakr Shekau, has denounced that declaration. Well, we are joined on set by TRT World's reporter Fidelis Mba. So, uh, what, how did this split come about? Well, yesterday, uh, Daesh did issue a statement, you know, in their magazine, confirming uh, al Badawi as the new leader of the Boko Haram. And just a few hours after that, the, uh, the we now referred to as former leader, Abu Bakr Shekau, came up with uh, an audio message saying that, um, a 10-minute audio message, claiming that he's still in charge, that, you know, Badawi just connived with a few fighters to pl plot a coup against him, that he's still in charge, and that he's still the leader of Boko Haram. So right now, no one knows who is in charge of Boko Haram because with ISIS, you know, uh, Daesh rather, you know, uh, appointing Badawi to lead Boko Haram, which is their West Africa affiliate. And now Shekau, who has been the leader since 2009, coming out with this audio message to say he's still the leader of the group. So no one really knows who is in charge in this case. So, and, they, and this split is actually not something that... Uh, you know, for them as a group that they want at this point in time. It doesn't seem like a, a very clear picture. Do you think this is likely to cause divisions within Boko Haram? Because we saw earlier them pledging allegiance most recently to Daesh. So are we going to see the sort of, I suppose, the, the, the ground troops of Daesh splitting off depending on where their loyalty lies? Yeah, there's, there's an apparent uh, split already because uh, some of the fighters definitely we want to go with uh, uh, you know Shekau. Shekau still has his followers. He still has control of some fighters because uh, since uh, 2015 that he came out to say that uh, he's alive because the Nigerian military did claim that they had killed him on like three occasions. And the last time he issued an audio message saying he that he's still alive, but he did say something. He said that his end had come. That you know more like some people were interpreting it to mean that uh, maybe he's. Uh, you know, more like uh, trying to uh, predict that he's going to die soon because uh, some sources did say that he was injured in one of the, uh, one of the attacks, that he was in heavily injured and that, um, you know, he might die anytime soon. So no one knows whether he's actually incapacitated and unable to lead the group or whether he has died, though Daesh did not say whether he's dead or but they just said he's being replaced. So right now, some fighters will be with the new leader, al Badawi and... Others will remain with Shekau. And that split is actually going to be like a, more like a plus for the military onslaught against them because they won't be as united as they were since 2009 that they have killed over 20,000 people and displaced close to 3 million people from their homes in, across um, Nigeria, uh, Chad, um, uh, Niger, and Cameroon. Okay, Fidel Zumba, thank you.